I have just a couple of days ago, Jacques Fresco, the guy who was the head of the Venus Project, passed away. He was like 99 years old when he died. And he was a very big counterculture guy, was very, very critical of the American society at large, uh, was part, you know, a big part of the Venus Project, was in the Zeitgeist movies, etc., and spent his entire life questioning society and trying to produce an alternative. And, you know, which, which is a noble pursuit in and of itself. But I've seen a lot of Marxists celebrating him and celebrating his life when he was wholly anti-communist. And it's not just that he was anti-communist. He was as, as about as, uh, high, as utopian as a person could possibly be. His depiction in the Zeitgeist movie, of, and not, not just in the Zeitgeist movies, but himself, about how society would transform into something better, the, the being the Venus Project. It's this image of people just getting together, going up to the banks, throwing their money at them, and then some shady characters up in a, you know, up in a conference room somewhere just telephone the guards and tell them to step down and say, oh, that's it, it's over. And then the new society magically appears out of nowhere. It's it's amazing that that the hyper utopianism that the guy actually believed in, and Marx has celebrated that. Go and read his writings on Marxism and socialism in general. He literally claims that there's money in in communism, which is absolutely absurd. He also claims that it existed, which is also absurd. The guy literally had no idea what he was talking about when it came to socialism and communism. He's not the kind of guy that Marxists should be idolizing. He was wholly reactionary in that way, and his whole theory in general was reactionary. It opposed any means, any violent means of overthrowing the system, which means he opposed anything that would actually work because he retreated into this liberal utopian idea of where everybody just wakes up one day and believes that his vision for the future is correct. And believe it or not, this is the same thing that Alex Jones preaches. He says, we need to have a revolution of the mind. Everybody understand what's going on. That's the, that's the kind of thing that Alex Jones did that Jacques Fresco did. And, and you see the the... the, the two sides to the same utopian coin. Jacques Fresco had a better understanding of how the system works and what's wrong with it and why it's bad and proposed a non-violent, completely unviable alternative. Not to say that the Venus Project wouldn't work, but the way he advocated getting there wouldn't work. By contrast, you have Alex Jones, who has no fucking clue how anything works and has a ridiculous conservative conspiracy theory type idea and proposes an alternative that is absolute hell in in real life. He, he's arguing a free market fundamentalist kind of complete nonsense and believes in like, ridiculous conspiracy theories to explain why things are the way they are. Which comes down to a thing that I've always said about conspiracy theorists. If reality doesn't conform to your opinion or your theory of how things work, then they allege conspiracy. Their idea or their theory can't be wrong, so there must be some kind of conspiracy behind it. All I'm really saying is that remember Jacques Fresco for what he was, inherently reactionary for the way that he criticized Marxism. It's not like he had legit criticisms. He said things that didn't make any sense that were outright wrong, like communism has already existed or there's money in communism, which is absolutely false. If, if you want to say you like the guy, you, you, you like what he stood for, that's fine. But as Marxists, we should try not to forget what kind of a reactionary character he really was. Thank you for watching. If you like this program, then please head over to my Patreon page and set up a monthly donation. It's your donations that keep this program running. Also, if you would like, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share in various social media.